morning so today is going to be a follow me around vlog it's sunday the 19th of october um i uh it's the day before my operation so i am um, we've had a bit of a late morning it's actually just past 11. <laughs> i'm still in my pajamas chris is in the shower uh, we've got a lot to do today though, so we I'm having my breakfast, which is my granola in a rice bowl. Uh, because I kind of, I weigh out my portions so that they're actually the right size. Um, I, uh, I have it in a rice bowl so it looks like I've, I'm eating more my vitamin. And I'm having some Activa, which will go in my granola as well. I'm writing out my plan for the day. Um, we've got to do shopping, food shopping. Um, make sure I've got everything that I need. I've got a tidy... Uh, the area around the kind of well where i'll be moving from so kind of lounge kitchen lounge, uh where else hallway <coughs> bedroom and bathroom just so uh when i'm on crutches or in my fabulous boot that i'm not i haven't got anything in the way um i have to do an assignment which is due tomorrow for my business course even though i'm not going to be there at the training session in a week um, i still need to um give in the assignment so I need to do that today I've got to do some vlog editing uh, from my weekend in Austria because I still haven't done that and it's now a week week um, since so busy day um, I'm gonna hop in the shower after after I've done my list and my breakfast and uh, talk to you so we are on our way to Whitney and we're gonna go to cook and get some frozen ready meals that are posh and means that Chris doesn't have to cook every night this week while I'm incapacitated Home now, and now we have a very full freezer. <laughs> it is stuffed. And that's full of ready meals and posh ready meals from Cook. So that when I'm sitting with my foot up and not able to move, Chris doesn't have to do loads and loads of cooking. So it's a bit of an extravagance, but we don't do it all the time. So there you go. Lunch time. So I've got cheese and ham toast sandwich i don't actually do it all together i toast and then i put some filling in it uh i've bought oh new drink which is ribena with orange passion fruit and pineapple which tastes like umbungo for those of us who were uh, grew up in the uk um i love umbungo um i, I also dr sing the song every time i drink something like that i've got gina aaron's on uh youtube to watch while i'm eating got my uh to-do list out so I'm ticking off things it's quite a long to-do list <laughs> and uh, I'm actually going to be filming my setup of my field notes today so hopefully that will go out tomorrow because I doubt I'll have time to or be up to um, vlogging tomorrow I will vlog uh, but it won't go up tomorrow so yeah anyway. so I'm gonna I'm just lounging on my uh, on my sofa I'm trying not to <laughs> Um, I'm lounging on my sofa because I've just been doing a massive tidy up. So I'm sat with my feet up. Uh, there's a little pile of stuff that I need to deal with. I've now sorted my gorgeous trolley of projects and stuff. I've got all my wool in boxes over there sorted by weight. I've got my crocheting project, my jumper sat next to me. And I've got a pile of, and I'm going to make sure I'm not showing my address. Um, paperwork that will need to be sorted in the next couple of weeks ready to go for tomorrow I think I think I'm sorted for tomorrow yeah uh, and um, I'm gonna sit and lounge for a bit because I'm a little bit from all that tidying and all that sorting yeah I think I've got to cook later as well so I need to kind of work myself up to that we um i showed you my fr my freezer early my full freezer we we spent stupid amount of money um in cook but it means that when i'm sat here and this is going to be my spot for the next two weeks probably uh with my foot up not being able to do anything and chris has got to work and he's done a full day and all that kind of stuff um it means that he can just pop stuff in to the to the to the to uh, into the oven and we have a, a decent meal. Cook is, if, for those of you who don't know Cook, particularly if you're not in the UK, they are basically homemade ready meals. So everything's frozen, but it's beautiful stuff like bo um, Boeuf Bourguignon or um, Coco Vin or gorgeous lasagnas or all sorts of different things. They're not what, kind of the ready meals that you would get in the supermarket. Waitress come kind of close, but no, these are amazing. And they're, 
you get the signature of the chef who made it on your packaging and it's just it's just really good um so it's now five o'clock ten to five yeah ten to five i'm gonna sit and lounge for, a little, for about an hour i think because it's sunday i need to lounge i need to pack my bag tonight as well i've got a whole great big list of stuff in here that i've got to do i've ticked some stuff off which is nice um i didn't get everything done so what else have i got to do i've got to edit my vlogs i'm waiting for chris's own sorting me out a laptop which i've got my laptop through here um which i'll 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 start editing on my um my weekend vlog this vlog and a couple of other things that i filmed today uh and and kind of make sure that they're scheduled um what else have i got to do i've set up my den in the lounge that's that trolley do you like my ikea trolley this is all over the art art journalist world in in the us and and i went and just saw it off by chance and it's really sturdy you have to make it yourself because obviously it's ikea but um i really like it i actually wanted the gray one but i think the, the aqua one is really sweet anyway um so that's that i've got to do some coursework later due in tomorrow of course i am the queen of last minute so yeah um i've got to change the bed sheets the the hospital have given me this really long list of stuff to do to make sure that i um avoid infection so i've got to shower tonight i've got to shower tomorrow morning i've got to do head to toe unperfumed soap uh i've got to be in clean bed sheets i've got to be in clean pajamas i've got to put on clean clothes tomorrow of course i'm going to put on clean clothes tomorrow i've got to make sure my oral hygiene is okay there's loads of stuff. <sighs> Who knew that having an operation would be so much work? Anyway, I'll talk to you later. I'm working. <laughs> Doing my management course. Hi everyone. So it's um it's just gone eight. I'm still working. And uh I'm gonna try and get this vlog up before I go to bed. Um I've still got to do one more thing of my assignment, which shouldn't take too long, hopefully. I'm doing a, an equality and diversity training online for it. Um, and then I will, I've just had dinner, burgers, nom, nom, nom. And I will go and have a shower because I need to go and have a shower before I go to bed. I need to put the new sheets on the, on the bed before I go in it. And then I'll turn in, ready for tomorrow. Uh, I am gonna schedule a, a video for tomorrow. So it's either gonna be my weekend from Austria if I get that done in time um, or it will be uh, either my what's in my pencil case tag or the my new planner or my new planner setup. Um, and hopefully I'll get that done before I need to go to bed. I, I need to eat something before midnight because that's the last time I'm allowed to eat. I need to be near my mouth from midnight uh, and take some water to bed with me because I'm allowed to have clear fluids until six. And then I'm not allowed to have anything after that. So we will see. Um, for my friends who are on Facebook and Twitter uh, and on Instagram, who know me other than out on YouTube, um, I'll post probably an update when I'm out of surgery, just so everyone knows I'm okay. Uh, or Chris will. And I'll see you in a couple of days, properly, but you'll see a video tomorrow. All right, bye.